Welcome back guys to another episode of Road to Gold here on Smackdown vs Raw 2011. I'm Brendan and uh, we have a big episode in store for our creative superstar named Brendan who is in the top 10 rankings for the Intercontinental Championship. We are 8th place. Can we move up that ranking to that number 1 position? We're going to wait and find out but this matchup we got tonight is a really really good one. We are teaming up with the World Heavyweight Champion of the Big Show. We're going to take on Arch Nemesis, CM Punk, and a mystery opponent. Who will that be? We're going to find out. But, I mean, teaming up with the Big Show in the main event of SmackDown, this is a big opportunity for, for us to prove ourselves, to prove that uh, we are main event material. We are ready to be uh, a champion here in the WWE. So, Brendan has probably the biggest match in his career so far. Well, maybe the second. I think his matchup with Punk was probably more important, but... At the moment, this is a big matchup. He's teaming up with a big show. He won't want to let him down, that's for sure. So, can he beat CM Punk in his mystery opponent? Well, I don't know. But uh, having the big show as your tag team partner certainly does help your chances. So, uh, I like his chances. So, we should be able to get the win here. But uh, hopefully, the big show uh, doesn't turn on us or doesn't, you know, try anything on us. So, we can uh, win this thing nice and smoothly as the World Heavyweight Champion walks out. So, we have Extreme Rules coming up very, very soon, and uh, we're hoping we can get on the card. I don't think we're going to be in a title match or anything like that. I think we're a little bit too far away from there, but uh, I reckon we'll get there. And Maybe next pay view. I think the next one is the Great American Bash. We might get there then, I don't know, but uh, hopefully we do. So here comes our guy. Here is the Beast, Brendan. And uh, thank you all for your feedback on uh, the attires and everything like that. Like I been requesting for you guys to give me some feedback and uh, I've read it all and uh, I'm gonna take it all into consideration and uh, have a look and see if I can uh, make some changes to the character to uh, suit your feedback. A lot of you guys actually wanted the, the boots to be changed so I will change those boots in uh, the next few episodes so uh, I think you guys are pretty happy with the colors but we're gonna find out who is the mystery tag team partner that CM Punk has uh, got here. Who is it gonna be? Could it be Luke Gallows, his uh, fellow Straight Edge Society partner? No, Dolph Ziggler, the Intercontinental Champion. Wow. Well, there you go. Brendan could have an opportunity to take on the Intercontinental Champion and beat him. And if he can beat the Intercontinental Champion, well, he may get a shot at Extreme Rules for the belt. You never know. So this is a huge match now. This is huge implications now for Brennan. This is arguably the most important match of his life right now. He's got the big show in his corner. Can he knock off CM Punk and Dolph Ziggler? Well, I think with the big show in his corner, he's probably got the best chances he'll ever get. So, uh, I mean, if he can beat Dolph Ziggler, there's no reason why he shouldn't be right up there in the rankings as the big show knocks down Dolph Ziggler. And... Um, you guys have been really liking the series. I appreciate that. Some of you guys have been tweeting me in. Also, I wanted to uh, shout out uh, Bogan. Um, he knows who he is. He's uh, every <laughs> every time I uh, haven't uploaded Road to Gold, he's uh, always on to me. So, uh, big shout out to him, and I really appreciate all the feedback and all the comments. So, uh, really, really happy that you guys are enjoying the series. So, um, the Bogan Club, shout out to you. Uh, of course, if you want to follow me on Twitter, Brendan Plays, uh, you can always uh, hound me for more Universe Mode episodes, uh, Road to Goal episodes, everything like that. You always get to uh, get that opportunity on Twitter. I always read your tweets. So, anyways, as we see, Brendan now in the match, and he's going to get his opportunity to, to wrestle Ziggler a bit. This match went for a bit long, so we'll have a cut of the matchup pretty soon as Ziggler takes down Brendan. This could be, oh, rolling out of the ring. I think he could have been a dangerous predicament there, but... Uh, of course, these matches are on legendary difficulty, and uh, I find that uh, I found that uh, this matchup was a pretty difficult one. So uh, the difficulty in this game, I think, is probably a little bit harder than in the uh, the next couple of games because I I'm finding it a little bit more difficult to uh, to get the win in this game compared to uh, 13 or even 12. So uh, interesting to to, uh, to come back to these previous games and see the difficulties and see what's been changed and what's what's not you know how the game's developed over the years it's very interesting and that's one of the things i like about revisiting the old games you can appreciate what's new and you can also go oh man i wish i had this in the newer game as well so uh 
You see Ziegler taken down in the corner there. Brendan tagging in his partner, the big show. And this is something you will never, ever, 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 ever see. <laughs> a springboard takedown there for the big show. Will you ever see that? Oh, God. If the big show could do that, then pigs really do fly. Wow. Well, he could be classified as a pig. I don't know. Oh, that's a bit mean. He's probably a, he'd be a, a uh, giant pig, that's for sure. <laughs> But uh, anyways, he could be more. He's more so a whale. He'd be probably a flying whale. As Ziggler, German suplex there by the beast, who's uh, amping himself up, getting, trying to get himself going here to try and take down Ziggler. And Ziggler looking for a hot tag, Grab, gets it. In comes CM Punk. Oh, right hand right there to Brennan, and oh, taking down the Big Show as well. Punk's got him up. Oh no, here we go. GTS, he hits it. That's it. Here we go. Oh, he's, now he's going to drag him in all the ring. Cover. Can Brendan kick out? Here it is. One. Ooh, kicking out at one. Very, very lucky. CM Punk probably hasn't worked him down enough to, to take him out here. So Brendan kicking out one out of the GTS. Of course, Brendan got the big victory over CM Punk a couple of weeks ago, and CM Punk is still livid over it. He's still furious that he lost that matchup. Of course, he also beat Luke Gallows. Brendan is undefeated here in SmackDown and on Superstars. He uh, hasn't really been featured that much on Superstars as late. He's been more of a SmackDown man now, of course, in the main event on SmackDown, so he's really impressing everyone. I actually really like this yellow and black attire. Looking at it now, I think uh, it's probably my favorite color set out of the ones that I've made. Let me know what you think. Black and yellow, is it suiting? It's a different shade of yellow to CM Punk's uh, yellow there. Yellow, yellow and black is what CM Punk's rolling, but I think uh, I like the black and yellow. I think it suits him. So, uh, you know, if, like I said, if he's still got any more suggestions on the uh, attire, wait a minute. What the hell is Jack Swagger doing out here? Is a quick roll up and Brendan kicks out. If you've got any suggestions or anything like that, Make sure you uh, leave in the comments down below. I'm happy to uh, listen to any ideas or suggestions you got. So what is Jack Swagger doing here? I don't know what he is doing here. What's his role here? He's uh, come out to help help uh, Ziggler and uh, CM Punk here, perhaps, or he might be here to help Brendan and Big Show. What's he gonna do? Who's he gonna? Who's he helping here? I we don't see any affiliation with CM Punk and Jack Swagger, and I don't think we've seen it in Dolph Ziggler and Jack Swagger either. So. Whoa! I think. Uh, well, there you go. Swagger is attacking the Big Show. I think that's your. I think. I think that's all you need to know. So Brendan can't tag in his tag team part, um, partner. So this is going to be difficult situation here. Who's? Oh, CM Punk takes out the referee. Brendan is already hurt pretty badly. So now he can't tag in his tag team partner. But he is all good now. Jack Swagger's walked away. But he can't tag in his partner if uh, Swagger is taking out the Big Show. So this could be a Pretty bad situation for Brennan. And Ziggler takes down the Big Show with the big DDT. And Brennan, is he busted open there? I think he might be. So this is a this is a tough match for both these guys. As uh, Punk walks in and he's down. Oh, Big Show taking him down. Almost took his head off. That's how much. Look at the force and the impact. And then again to Ziggler. Wow, man. That is a freight train walking or running at you and oh, big splash there, big beta splash. Here we go. Oh, what, what the hell is the referee doing here? He's distracted by Swagger. He's not even doing anything. And then all of a sudden he gets, all of a sudden Swagger gets up to the, on the, uh, the apron to distract the referee. I mean, that's stupid. About three second delay there on a distraction, Swags. You're trying to prove that it's not a work when, <laughs> that it's not fake when, uh, uh, the referee's distracted when, and by nothing. He's meant to be distracted by Swagger, and Swagger forgot to forgot his bet. He forgot to get on the apron quick enough for the roll up, for the, for the pin, whatever it was. So well, there you go. So uh, I don't know who's got on top of here. I think both these guys, or both all four competitors, are probably out of it. But you have to say with the Swagger element imply, applied, you'd have to probably say Ziggler. And CM Punk have got the added advantage here, but I'm still surprised. What is Jack Swagger doing here? What is his role? What, why is he here? Uh, he's not in. I don't know. He's not in contendership for the world title. He's not in contendership for the Intercontinental Championship. I don't know why he's here. Well, maybe we'll find out after the matchup, but I have no idea at the moment. And uh, CM Punk is now in. He's looking to perhaps. Oh, he's taking another big show. 
He may look to perhaps finish the job here. Here is the cover. One. He's got it. Brandon has lost his first match here on Universe Mode, here on Road to Gold. Wow. Well, there you have it. CM Punk has beaten Brendan. And with the help of the distraction of Jack Swagger, Brendan has lost his first match in the WWE. Wow. That, to CM Punk and... Oh, like, yeah, you can imagine Brendan is not going to be happy there. He's busted open. He had his big opportunity to beat the Intercontinental Champion, Dolph Ziggler, and he's now been set back with that loss there. His first ever loss. What's going to happen from here? What, how will he react to that loss? Can he come back from it? I don't know. I think uh, this is going to severely hurt him. Uh, wow. I was not expecting that. I thought the Big Show and Brendan would have had the job done, but uh, we'll see if that affects his rankings on the uh, Intercontinental Championship scene. Will he still be in the rankings list? I don't know. But, man, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt a lot. So let's check it out. So we're going to check the rankings, and... We're gone. We're off the rankings. CM Punk climbs up into our spot. We are off the rankings altogether. So, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest at this time, Brendan the Beast, who just lost his first match in the WWE. Brendan, what is your reaction to the loss here tonight on SmackDown? Todd, you need to get some common sense into you. How the hell do you think I feel? I just lost my first match to Dolph Ziggler and CM Punk. CM Punk, my arch rival. Dolph Ziggler, the man that I want to take his championship away from. And I have my opportunity tonight. I have my chance to take down Dolph Ziggler, beat him one, two, three, and get myself in the rankings. And look at myself. I got beat. Disgraced. I'm not happy. But I tell you what, this isn't the end of me. My undefeated streak may be over, but I'm not finished. I'm going to get my revenge, and I'm going to get my Intercontinental Championship very, very soon. I can guarantee you that.